Hey, welcome to Algebra 2, Lesson 3-1, Graphing Polynomial Functions, Example 2. Understand M behavior of polynomial functions. How do the sign of the leading coefficient and the degree of the polynomial affect the M behavior of the graph of a polynomial function? So first of all, the polynomial function is any function whose rule is a polynomial. That means it includes powers and degrees, and we talked about the standard form in Example 1, right? The end behavior of a graph describes what happens to the function values as x approaches positive and negative infinity. That just means the arrows. So if you have a graph, you have two arrows if it's a continuous function. And um, you can see that the directions from those arrows, these are called end behaviors. We know that the graph is going to continue on and on and on outside the grid line we see, right? So if you look at function f, this is degree 1, where f of x is equal to x. So it's a straight line. It's a linear graph. And the end behaviors are going up as your, uh, up as your x increases, your y goes up. And so that describes this behavior. And this behavior at the end on the other side is when x decreases, y also decreases. So it's going to keep decreasing, decreasing, right? And then if you look at h, well, actually, let's look at g first. Your g has a degree of 3, so you have two arrows as well. Um, you're going to start from this end behavior. This end behavior also goes down, 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 down. It is, your x is actually getting smaller and smaller, even though it's going um, slower than your f of x. But your x is decreasing as y decreases, right? So as x decreases, y also decreases. As x increases, y also increases. Although it is, your y increases a lot faster than your f of x. Your h of x would be the same thing. So you have to look at the behavior. That means the end behavior just means uh, where is it going? Which direction uh, is, your, is your graph going towards the end? Okay. So for if you already look at, if you already see, um, if you already noticed, the odd degree functions will have the same end behaviors, even though the speed would be different. The, the end behaviors will be the same directions and even numbers, even degrees as well. So if you look at the x square um, f of x, this is your quadratic function, and your end behavior are all uh, going positive for your y values, right? So when x decreases, as x decreases, y increases. As x increases, y also increases. So that's also true for g of x and h of x. So if it's a degree of even numbers, then your polynomial function will have n behaviors like like these, okay? So as x decreases, y increases. As x increases, y increases. So uh, you're describing the values. Because your function is a relationship between those two values, x and y, you're going to describe your end behaviors with your x and y values, okay? So you can already see that the end behavior is similar to the parent functions for our, um, for the for the odd degrees and the even degrees function. All right. So now we're going to um, we're going to see what happens when we have a positive leading coefficient. So this is when we have a positive leading coefficient, right? What if we have a negative leading coefficient, right? So for example, negative x, right? Instead of x, then our slope is going down. So as your x increases, as x increases, y decreases, right? And this one, as x values decrease, so it's going left, right? As x values decrease, your y values increase. So look at the slope. It's like this, right? Your x is going left, y is going up. So then you can describe your end behavior like that. 
So your end behavior is closely related to your slope and um, your relationship between the change of x and the change of y. So that, that is very similar to describing the slope. But we're not talking about the exact numerical value of your change. We're talking about the behavior, like where is it going? So we, increasing, decreasing would be fine to describe the end behaviors. And g of x and h of x would be similar. The end behaviors are all going to the same direction. As x decreases, y increases, and as x increases, y decreases. Okay, and for even degrees, if you have a leading, uh, if you have a negative leading coefficient, you will have maximum values for your vertices, and all of them are going to look down. So they open downwards. So that means um, both of your both of your end behaviors are going to face downward. That means your y is decreasing as x increases or decreases. So no matter which direction you go, as x decreases or as x increases, your y values are going to decrease. So you're going to say as x values decrease or increase, y values decrease, okay? So let's look at try number two. Use the leading coefficient and degree of the polynomial function to determine the end behavior of each graph. You don't, you might not able to graph all the functions that you see, but you can still uh, notice the leading coefficient if it's whether or not it's positive or negative, right? That's really easy to see. And you can see if it's an odd degree or even degree. And if you know those two um, information, you know where your graph is headed. Like you know that your end behaviors for that polynomial function. So let's try number two AB to see if you can determine without even graphing it accurately, just looking at your function. Okay, so pause the video and come back when you're ready for answers. Okay, are you ready? Let's look at try number two. So first of all, if you look at A, um, your leading coefficient is positive and your degree would be even number. So leading coefficient is positive and degree is even. So which means for 2a, what can you say about the, the end behavior? You can say that the leading coefficient is positive and the degree is even. So the graph opens upward. So if you look at these examples on, on, your, on your textbook, in your example, we're talking about the second example, right? Your graph will open upward, and the sign of the uh, leading coefficient is positive. That's why it's, uh, it's opening upward. As x um, becomes infinitely positive or negative, so as x increases or decreases, your y values increase. So your y values will approach to positive infinity. As x in decreases, as x values decrease, y values values increase. As x values increase, y values increase. So another way to say this is as x becomes infinitely positive or negative, the y values approach 
positive infinity, okay? Because it's going uh, infinitely positive. All right, let's look at 2b. So if you look at 2b, you have a leading coefficient that is negative, and the degree is an odd degree with a 3. So you'll know that it, your m behavior is going to look like this. As x approaches negative infinity, as x decreases, y will approach positive infinity, y increases. As x approaches positive infinity, which means um, when x increases, y decreases, or y approaches negative infinity. So let's write that down. The leading coefficient is negative, and the degree is odd. So, and then I'm going to try to write it as well. So as x arrow this means approaches negative infinity y approaches positive infinity and as x approaches positive infinity y approaches negative infinity and this means as x increases or x decreases y increases and as x increases y values decrease okay All right, that was example two. We will continue with example three in the next video. Bye.